What's good? What's down with it? Who that is? That's Kevin. Kevin Porter. Mad Rabbit. What's good? Ernest. How that dog doing over there, Ernest? I'm out here in the trenches. Where you at? Robert. What's good, brother? What's goody? Now rocking with Ready Red. I'm about to start putting more energy towards my dogs. I kind of took a break. You know, kind of took a break, man. Sometimes you got to sit back. And you, sometimes you gotta pull back, man, just to see how people gonna see how people gonna play it, man. You gotta put people through a test, you know. Just how did people, how dog fans here say, man, you gotta test them. You gotta put them through a weight pull. You gotta see if you know their confirmation good. You gotta put them through a test. What well, shit? You gotta put people through a test. See how they gonna play it. And man, very few. Some people, you know, you, you expect to reach out, don't reach out. Put out a video, boom. Next thing you know, they calling. Hollering at you, man. They forget about you real easy, man. They let me know. It's easy. You could easily be forgotten. You know what I'm saying? That's why the whole goal, one goal is to make a, a mark where you could never be forgotten. You know, you want to build a legacy. You know, something that, 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 that can't be forgotten, you know? And that's why it's good to have a good team, have a good circle around you. You know, it's like the sun. It's, as powerful as the sun is, the sun is as powerful as can be. But the sun keep a team around him, you know, and which is the planets, you know. God been sending me some powerful women, putting some good women in my life, helping me, you know. So it's like, you know, it's like you got to sometimes you got to change up just to see how, 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 how people, how, how they do, you know, because. Some people, man, they treat you good, do good when it's when they under these circumstances. I, mean, I done had guys literally like literally sending deposits, bro. After I stopped posting videos and that excitement left, don't even not got a lot, but it happened. Don't really want to get the dog, but when I post posting videos, they who sending deposits, who me get the dog, you know, rushing. They turned up on that energy, you know. But some of them a change up, man. And I didn't damn near trap my my uh self to where if I don't post a damn video, some people think I don't exist. You know, I don't really rock with peers online. I don't advertise on there. I'm solo dolo. If you don't follow Ready Red on some kind of social media, you ain't gonna know what we got going on. You ain't gonna be able to go on peers and find a Ready Red puppy for sale, you know? It's been a long time since I put one on there. I remember one time a guy was talking shit. Oh, his dogs is for sale on Hoobly. And uh, we did have some on there. And you know what? I said, I actually listened to him and didn't post on there. And look how many years went by. We never have to post on those places, you know? If you if you ain't on something that's it, that's specifically for us, like the YouTube channel, like our Instagram, like our website, like the, our Facebook or something like that, you ain't going to know. So... Ain't nothing like walking a dog where you ain't tripping or something running off on you. I remember when I was little, we would run through the hood. And certain spots, they had dogs, you know, rat, rock rollers and different little dogs running loose. And you'll always be worried if that dog would get loose and get you, you know. I'll come at you, you know what I'm saying? But you, you want to walk one where you ain't tripping. You know, you ain't even tripping if, if they do come, you know. I'm trying to see if I can enable the flashlight. Oh, there you go. There we go. Got the flash. It's getting dark. Yeah, so I like having a dog where you ain't tripping if they do come. See how you at the end of that leash? You know? Not that we condone it. Not that we cherish it. But it's just, you know, for your own safety. You kind of want a dog that's going to protect you. You know? So, I got 10 people in the building. 
used to have 30 to 50 in the building back in the gap. I didn't laid off the YouTube, so naturally they laid off me. Soldier stance. Soldier. We ready for war. That's why I keep that heat on me, man. Keep my bulldog, man, best friend. That's why they say dog is a man best friend. You know, I keep my best friend with me. You know. Sometimes I swap out my friends, but I keep my best friend with me. Yep. Oh, shit. Hold on. Uh, I just seen somebody say something. I thought nobody was saying nothing. Robert said, ready, ready. Let's see. Oh, he's doing great, he said. How can I send you? Send it to, uh, you can send it to my cell phone. Uh, should be in the description. But you should have the number. Uh, you know, you know how to get in touch, brother. Yeah, man. You know, I just get on here and vent. I don't really worry about talking dogs sometimes. Got some exciting stuff in the future, though, coming with the dogs. Man, I called up. I called up my uh, semen collection company and uh, a store storage company, and I and I, I forgot who all, what all dogs I had stored on ice. I was like, God damn. I got quite a few goddamn dogs. I didn't built up to about 13 damn different dogs on ice stored up. And only probably about four or five of them I own. A lot of them old dogs that been dead. Uh, just, well, maybe a few just died, most been dead. So I was like, man, you know, just at any time I could just boom, bring back some old shit. But, you know, I'm enjoying the present at the time. So I was like, you know, I'll just wait, let these boys use up all they semen. You know, I see a lot of them busting out thunder, busting out, uh, a lot of them busting out they thunder semen, that semen, this semen. Let them bust it out. I'll bring out my direct sons of Jeep and thunder and all that and Eli's champion, Eli dogs. Shit, sons of, see, yellow dog and shit like that. I'll bring them out when I when it's convenient for me let they shit die out you know and wait you know maybe might even let my son when he get older let him bust out so he can hit the game fresh with with shit that was alive before he was alive you know and he'll be able to get the dogs that his daddy had you know that's a legacy in itself you know but this male here he put on a couple pounds i'm gonna work them down you know, I'm going to work him down a little bit. He didn't got too big. He, well, he was skinny. I got on here one time, and, you know, them little pet bull people pop up on here. And, uh, no, oh, your dog is too skinny. Your dog is anorexic. Or uh, whatever, you know, they pop up on here. Talking, they talk. So, you know, and he was. He was a little slim, which was because he, he works the fuck out of himself on the chain. I don't, he haven't been on the chain lately, so he didn't picked up about about seven, eight pounds, which is too much. So I got to drop. We got to go back down about five pounds, get at a more ideal weight, closer to weight, condition weight, you know. Got a few puppies off of uh, Boss Hog and Diamond that live. She dropped a huge litter, lost quite a few of them. You know, but that's what happens sometimes when you, when you, uh, when you, I hear that dog. That's what happens sometimes when you, um, 
when you're too damn busy. You're relying on them to do it themselves, you know. But you know what? It wasn't even just doing it themselves because a lot of mine. Oh, shit. Well, I thought a dog was about, was about to jump. <laughs> thought something popped out. But, yeah, a lot of times the, the, the females always take care of the litters themselves. But it's just the weather, the weather uh, element that messed up. Let me see. Two litters got screwed over. But it is what it is. It's part of it, you know. When I had my wife, we would bring them in the house and this and that. So she rolled out on me. So, fuck, shit changed up now. So now my whole game plan got to change. So next winter I'll have something else in place to make sure all my litters, I'm going to have it set up where I can have 10 litters at a time indoors, you know, and have it where, where the females have good space and the puppies got space. It's all about being innovative, man, you know. It's like if life gives you lemons, you got to make lemonade out of it, you know. And it's like you got to be able to, to go with the flow. You got to be basically versatile, you know. If this happens, you got to be able to work with it. You know, a lot of people, when stuff happens, they can't adapt. You know, you got to be adapt. You got to have adaptability. You know, it's just like a bulldog that they say is smart. You know, know how to adapt, know how to get through a situation and think its way out of it, you know. And that's what it's all about. But shit, I'm out here. I'm in the trenches, trenches, shit, just roaming, you know. But shit. But I'm just on here, y'all. I ain't know what to put for the title. I said, I just feel like going live for a little bit. <clears throat> going live for a little bit. Well, I find a little alleyway. Might cut through here. But yeah, ain't nothing like walking through through a, a neighborhood with your dog because they get so many different smells and sights because, you know, everybody, when you're in the hood, everybody got a damn dog, you know, in their yard somewhere, you know, and stuff. You know, a lot of stuff for them to see, you know. So, so he's happy to be out walking. I'm happy, you know. And that's one good thing. I don't care if you put a dog in keep. I was talking with somebody the other day about it. You know, you put your dog in keep. Shit, you put your dog on a diet, you can get on a diet too. Y'all can work out together, get fit and get cut together. At the end of the keep, you look good, he look good, you know? <clears throat>